Welcome back to another Pristine Productions here. And uh, I want to shout out to all the fans. Uh, Pristine Productions coming to you, bringing you nothing but the best. Remember, if you want to buy uh, these instruments, 50 bucks, US Pioneer account, hit me up. And uh, today we're going to be talking about sexy dance hall mixing 90s style. And what I mean by say 90s style, I'm going to bring in a lady saw here. So I'm going to show how we knock down each of these instruments here. How we use the SSL comp, bringing the 90s sounds back in. So let's get back down to it. So let's let's break it down. So here we go with the uh, old school dance hall style. First thing is first, right? Uh, remember, guys, you got to make sure you got your groove on lock. You got to make sure you know what you're doing. You got to make sure you underst uh, understand dance hall and not be playing any and anything. Now, I'm using the JV... Uh, uh, 1080 here, the pop drum set, uh, volume 2, and uh, I'm going to be playing this part here. So this is what I have here. Easy, easy beat. Well known by the big producer originally, uh, David Kelly. So what I'm doing with this drum here, I'm going to show where I get the beefiness from, right? So this is a, a acoustic drum, uh, a vintage drum set here. I wanted that big fat sound because we're in the year 2020. So I'm running that through the drum bus here. And uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna be doing a little bit of parallel compression here. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be sending it through the SSL and uh, the pull tech. Let's unmute that. Look how fat that drum gets. I'm gonna back off a little bit here. Maybe uh, go maybe about eight. If I turn the pull tech off, don't get uh, as much definition in the kick drum. Now also I'm gonna add the SSL here. I'm gonna boost a little bit of a four a ninety um, a forty nine here kilohertz here. Which is giving me a little bit of low end there. And uh, I'm going to make sure that is uh, nice and fat there. I'm, and also I'm going to dip a little bit of the uh, frequency around 120. With the F6. So I have that under control. And uh, let's go with the wave station. So this is what I'm using. I'm using the wave station here with uh, one of the flute presets. And I'm sending that through the effects a doubler from waves. Because I want to make sure I have that bubble at the back there. And here comes the uh, second organ. That's what you get in the joyride business. I'm, I'm sending that through the reverb as well, creating some space here. And I'm not adding anything to those right there. Let's go and uh, bring in the MPC. Add a little bit of reverb more. Here's the bass line. First of all, 
I'm going to be using a little bit of NLS drive here. I got the punch going with the power of compression on drums. So I'm going to use the drive. I'm going to set it all out on the NLS here to get a little bit of warmth here. And I'll listen to the bass when it kicks back in. And that's pure uh, analog right there. I'm going to bring in the SSL channel here. Which I'm going to shave off a little bit of 80 there. Let's go again. Notice um, I'm getting a little more defined balance bass. I took off some of the mids here, about 350. I took off a little bit of 500 here. All that nasty sound. I took out a little bit of 78. If I took, I uh, shut off the SSL channel. It's too much uh, bottom end. More balance. So on top of that, I'm going to bring in uh, uh, another sound here. That's the... Uh, synthesizer there uh, guitar now what I wanted to uh, make the bass stand out more because this is dancehall music I want to bring in the R bass about 40 here let's kick that in just to give a little bit more definition on the bass And I'm going to use the CLA-3A to dominate a little bit more presence here. There you can really feel the bass kicking in. And there we have Lady Saw here. And I'm going to top it off with a little bit of silent here. A little bit of get a guitar, a little bit of the scent, and there we go. Go a little bit of pre mastering here. Now let's bring in Lady Saw's vocal. Now I'm going to show you on the drum bus. I wanted a little more smack, so I put a little smack attack there. Set it to clip, if I turn it off, the drum doesn't sound as punchy. If I turn it on, slightly different. But it's bringing back the guitars. So what I want to show you guys as well, you want to make sure practicing gate sta gain staging so none of your plugins are hitting the red. And a great way to do that in Studio One is I can control the input right at the top here. 
so my plugins are getting optimal feed. Nothing is over in the red. So I want to leave that with you guys. This is how you do a uh, dance hall, a sexy dance hall mixing uh, 90s style. And I'm going to catch you on the next one. Well, a long time before. Catch you on the next.